Hey guys, this is EJ Holland with TheWolverine.com. Just got done seeing 2022 defensive tackle target Derek Shepard uh, out here in Ohio. Uh, a key target for Michigan next cycle. Shepard is a 300 pounder, big dude in the middle, uh, but only got limited reps on the defensive side of the ball. So going back before this game, I actually had a chance to see Shepard at the Under Armour camp here in Ohio, uh, I believe it was in July, and he was so impressive. At 300 pounds, he was moving around extremely well. He uh, had a similar build to a guy I covered during my time on the Texas beat in Marvin Wilson, uh, who plays for Florida State and will be a high uh, NFL draft pick. I don't necessarily know if Derek is at that talent level that Marvin was. Marvin was a believe a consensus five star uh, so I don't know if Shepard is quite there from a talent standpoint but from a build and uh, you know mobility laterally uh, the way he just moves around on the field at that size I think uh, is reminiscent of Marvin um, but overall I still really want to see more from Shepard uh, he was phenomenal in that Under Armour camp and that's a big reason he got a bump in the rivals ranking he went from a guy that wasn't really highly touted to a rival's 100 prospect, so top 100 nationally. Um, and so that I know that camp did a lot for him, but I still want to see more in pads. I came out to Ohio last month to watch him practice, and he mostly played um, offensive tackle. I didn't get to see him do any defensive reps because it was an offensive day, so apparently he picked a bad day. Uh, but then I came out tonight uh, with big expectations for Shepard. I thought he was going to be a mammoth guy dominating in the trenches. And his snap count on defense was so limited. I, I think he only got seven snaps on defense. So it's just so tough to evaluate him because I haven't seen him put that camp performance uh, to pads. I haven't seen his... Uh, athleticism and his potential and his size really translate to the field on uh, you know on Friday nights today's Thursday night uh, he, he did look really good at, at right tackle uh, which he played most of tonight uh, he played every basically every offensive snap for alter uh, at right tackle a little bit of left tackle um, again moved really well uh, looked good for his size he had no problem burying people a couple of times, uh, served up a, a couple of pancakes, more pancakes than I saw last week um, when I was evaluating Michigan <laughs> recruit out there in Nashville. Um, so I, I feel like, you know, he has everything that you want to see. I, I did, uh, you know, when he was on the defensive side of the ball, like he got double teamed basically every snap he was out there. I would like to see him fight through double teams a, a little bit more. Uh, and be more aggressive, uh, get better with his hands. But it was such a limited sample size that I can't get really give um, a true evaluation other than he looks good as, at his size just because I, I haven't seen him play the position he's being recruited at. And, uh, you know, don't hear what I'm not saying. I, I really like Shepard as a prospect. I wrote a lot of great things about him coming out of that Under Armour camp. Uh, for me, it's just about seeing him actually play the position that he's going to play at the next level because he does have all the uh, tools and ability to be the top 100 defensive tackle he's ranked at. I just personally wouldn't necessarily rank him that high without you know him producing on the field at, at, at his position. And that's, again, not to say that he can't do it. I just haven't seen him do it. Uh, and tonight was just uh, a terrible game to, to get a true evaluation of. Um, but I, I do, again, for the millionth time, like him a lot. Uh, and uh, I, I do think that he can be that top 100 guy. So, And he's such a great kid, too. He's very highly interested in Michigan. Um, he's developing a good relationship with uh, Michigan defensive line coach Sean Nua. He uh, heard from Nua on September 1st, the first day college coaches were allowed to reach out to rising juniors. Michigan's definitely an early favorite in his recruitment. Um, you know, he recently got a, a few other offers. Some more big schools have been talking to him, like Ohio State and LSU, which would be 
uh, a couple of game-changing offers in his recruitment. But early on, Michigan, uh, definitely a top school. I would say a top three school for him early on. And I'll have a full interview uh, with Shepard over at uh, thewolverine.com uh, early, either this weekend or early next week. I've got several more games, so you'll be seeing me on the live uh, quite a bit. Tomorrow I will uh, be at Detroit King seeing top 2023 quarterback Dante Moore for the second time. Uh, then I will mosey my way over to see 2022 five-star cornerback um, Will Johnson over at Gross Point South. So that one should be uh, a really fun one to get get a look at Will, who's one of my favorite guys for next cycle. Um, both of those guys, uh, you know, I think are, are extremely impressive. Excited to talk about them tomorrow. So I'll be back out on the road. And uh, like I said, keep it locked into the Wolverine.com. I'll have a full interview with Shepard. I'll have thoughts, more expanded thoughts on Shepard over on the site. Uh, expanded thoughts on the guys I see tomorrow. Uh, full interview with Shepard. Uh, I actually stopped by Northmont to see Michigan defensive back commit Rod Moore earlier today. Uh, so I'll have some thoughts from his practice as well. The Into the Blue, our big feature piece on Monday is going to be loaded with uh, all types of recruiting suite from the road. So make sure to subscribe to the Wolverine.com if you're not subscribed already. And right now you can use promo code Blue60 and get 60 days for free. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, thanks. Hope you guys have a great rest of the night.